all right hello and welcome to or welcome back to the channel my name is wave of parallax and today we're back with corpse party blood drive um we are picking up right where we left off last time we had um what have we done we found a couple of axes on the floor and we're currently carrying them with us without bags you may ask yes indeedy without bags and they're just kind of on our person right now um, what else have we done? We talked to Seiko. She followed us around in the spirit and she um, basically was like, Hey, are you me? Like, how's Naomi? We're like, Naomi's good. And she's like, that's great. I'm really happy for that. Tell her that I've moved on, like I've, I've left. And Ayumi's like, but you can't because you died here. And she's like, yeah, but it's important for her to move on. So, but I thought that was really sweet because, you know, like, at the end of the first game, Seiko relayed, you know, to Naomi that she forgave her and that, you know, essentially that she hopes for her to be okay and it's it's sweet that she's still trying to look out for her even now. Um, we had also had gotten a puzzle that um, I was puzzled by, if you can believe it. We had been given these numbers, 23, 9, 14, and 5, and the letters N-O-B-L-E-L-O-T. And we were also given an image with a king on the left, a soldier in the middle, and a commoner on the right. I have done some figuring out, I have done some puzzling, and I have determined an answer to this. So, if we... My gosh, the music is, is frantic. Does it quiet down when we go outside? No. What about when I pause? No. Okay. <laughs> I I have figured out that if I translate the numbers into letters from the alphabet, they spell out wine, right? So you have wine. And if you look up wine and the word noble lot together, you get noble rot. And I'm assuming it's a play on words because the, the, the noble's body, the body on the left is rotting, right? Like it's, and from the picture, we know that it, that's the noble's body. So the body is rotting, it's on the left. And I'm assuming based on that, we have to leave the noble to rot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save because we died last time and I had like done like a bunch of progress I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna cut down the soldier and the commoner and we'll see where that takes us come on Ayumi <laughs> let's get the show on the road I'm very excited because it actually feels like we're coming to an end point here there's a freshly hanged corpse here. The noose seems somewhat frayed. With the right tool, the body could probably be dropped to the ground fairly easily. All right. Oh, we didn't die. Okay, next one. There's a skeletal corpse here. The noose seems somewhat frayed. With the right tool... Fingers crossed. The sound of a lock releasing echoed from somewhere in the distance. That, I'm hoping, is the lock to the core. Which, based on the school's newest and latest and greatest design, we have to go all the way to the end of this corridor to get to. Yes. And then down. I hate that I've come <laughs> become used to this. This like weird like directional No. Well wait, what's what's in here again? No. Okay. I'm not as good as I thought I was. 
Um, it's just in some... Oh, no, I know. It's it's through the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. The entrance to get to a bedroom. And then from the bedroom, we're on the second floor. Where are we right now? Yes, okay. And then from the entrance of her bedroom, we can go through her house into the actual entrance of her place, and then we take the left and get to the core. Here we go. Yes, okay. I feel much better now that I know what I'm talking about. And we'll save here as well because we don't know what the core is going to be like. And hopefully that it did unlock, considering, you know, that's kind of what I was working on. Oh yeah, that face in the corner is my friend, by the way. It is a head. Let's go! Okay. I wonder if Mochida and the others were able to save Yuka. Meanwhile... What a terrible smell. Oh, they're like back in like the actual school. It's a lot different in here than it was the last time we came to this school. No, the scenery that you're in now is pretty much the same. <laughs> Yeah, though I'd rather not think about that right now. Doesn't Naomi have a phone on her? Oh, maybe she doesn't. No, didn't she lose it when she got into the fight with her mum? Because I'm playing this more often, a lot of the memories of like previous, you know, chapters and stuff are coming back to me. But I was gonna say, couldn't Seiko message Naomi like she did in the first game? Oh, okay, we're we're not gonna get to see the core just yet. Uh Maritaba's tome researcher, Osamu Hisano. Unknown everything down from the abdomen is missing. Hina Gaoka, girls high class 3-3, Maiko Kisaragi. Bled out from stab wound in an abdominal region. Iwagawa University High Class 1C Mia Tohara endured septic shock. And then this is where we came from, right? We have to keep moving forward. Okay. He has a very beefy flashlight. <laughs> Looks like the road ends here, at this door. Be careful. Um, yes, I'd like to collect your name tag, please. Takemori Trade School Class 3A Joich Joichiro Sato Saito succumbed to shock and bled out quickly following complete bisection. I feel like that's fair enough. Inataha Class 27 Taku Asanome bled out from removal of eyes via knife. Oh, hello. Hey, you guys are twins. Beyond the red door, we found ourselves in a large open space. The smell of blood and antiseptic immediately struck our noses with incredible force, so thick that it almost felt like we were stepping into a viscous liquid environment. This certainly wasn't the underground bomb shelter we were expecting. Rather, it was more or less a torture chamber, a labyrinth of terrifying pain devices and prison cells. The walls were spotted liberally with dark blood stains, and the general feel of the room was absolutely horrific in every conceivable way. It hurts. God, it hurts. Forgive me. Please kill me.
I'll curse you. I'll curse you. Are these all currently living people? Or are they just screams from previous victims? How unfortunate for you, but that is the mark of a witch. <laughs> no, there's just some random dudes in here laughing in my ears. That doesn't sound like such at all. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken, no soul may reside in trees that have died. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, take mercy on this impure soul. Oh. Strike down this person with one firm swing of thy divine blade, O Lord. What I was just going to say, maybe it's the... The screams of the witches. So it could be souls, but not new souls. Old souls. Sounds of deep, all-encompassing sorrow and rage echoed from every corner of the massive space. I just hit my foot. Some of the screams and moans of sadistic pleasure seemed to be coming from right next to us, though the room was quite dark and there were no visible presences around us. It really did sound like people were being tortured right where we stood, though. Just crossing the threshold into the room was mentally taxing beyond anything I'd ever experienced before. It was downright painful, in fact, instantly bringing tears to my eyes. Yuka, hang in there, we're coming! What is this place? I don't know, but these things all over the room really look like medieval torture devices to me. I hate to think of Yuka being stuck in a place like this. Damn it all. Yuka, say something! Yuka! 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 <laughs> From the darkness came the sound of a metal wheel or gear turning. <laughs> Satoshi shone his light in the general direction from which the sound seemed to originate. But the only thing that there was... Wait? But the only thing there was a rack. As in the torture device designed to stretch and tear a person's body. It was a highly disturbing sight, but fortunately no one was tied to it. We all let out a collective sigh of relief. Blank. 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 Despite being empty, however, the torture implement began spinning in place. Blood was flying everywhere. <laughs> Is everyone alright? <laughs> Is this? This stench, it's blood, isn't it? Damn it! We mustn't stay here for much longer. We need to hurry. No argument here. Now oh, look at these little heads that have greeted us. This one has a brother! <laughs> Alright. Saving? Yes, please. Wait, is it still? Yep, yeah, it's still Sachi. I wanted it to be someone else. This, it's locked. The gate is affixed to its surroundings like a model. Oh, hey, these ones have, um... Okay, so Manitou's Tome Researcher Sakuya Hoshikawa, tortured and decapitated. A name tag? Oh, it's not the same. 
Maritaba's home soldier, Yoshitaka Otsuki, tortured and decapitated. Maritaba's home researcher, Akiko Kaga, tortured and de decapitated. Gators are fixed. Gators are fixed. Oh, well, that's fun. It has batteries. Oh. Oh, there's a body in there. There's two bodies in there. Oh. Okay, hang on. Hey yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, but, yes, you do have a name tag. Okay, great. Aerial in intellectual. It's got to be something like that. Junior high faculty. Kitotake Torio. Disemboweled by someone. Someone. Does does the skeleton not have a? Okay, maybe they don't. Is there a dead body in here? <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're good. Just, you know, a casual... Casual bit of... <laughs> of running around. Gators are fixed. Gators not a fixed. Hello. I won't go in there yet. Oh, there's two things here. I'll go in here. Um, hey, those look like the scissors that Sajiko used to torture people with. That's fun. And there's a little handprint there too. How nice. Okay, this is going to be bad because there's one that's out of alignment. <laughs> Dark crystal obtained? What is that? Is that a... No, that's not a... About this. What? <laughs> I freaked out. No, Satoshi. I didn't think he could stand there. I thought it was unsafe, and then I moved, and then it was doubly unsafe. Okay, so we got we got all the. Oh, that was no. I I did not feel good about that. Actually, I should wait. No, I waited too long. I'm fearful now. Oh! Ooh. I got the dark crystal. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Is there a body in there? Do I have to go in there? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm not going in there then. Ow. What's this? Give it to me. Just a talisman. What's this? Hello? Oh, is that like the coffin thing? Yeah! Will you go inside it? It's got like a bunch of pins in there. Yep. That's what that is. I think that's actually the way forward, so we're gonna go this way. Hello? I have come to free you from your torture. What is your name? Itashiro High Class 3 to Ikumi Surutani. Succumbed to shock as entire face above lower lip was hacked to bits. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? It's just a spirit, but it's scared me. No! Excuse me, I wish to go into this room. <laughs> Nijima Academy, High Class 3-1, Takeshi Sutsui. Starved during endless search for a broadcast room. Reason for search unknown. No, oh, he touched me. No, it's too late now. Den key. There's a bunch of, like... Oh. Oh, no, what happened? Were we just teleported? I don't like that. Where did we end up? How far away am I? Oh, okay. I'm confusion. 
Oh, safe, safe room! There's a light crystal. Are we, like, darkened because of that? No, we're fine. It just decided to teleport us? And I guess it pushes us back a certain number of feet? For what reason, though? It, like, reset the whole room. What about this? Can I touch this? Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. It's Kishima! Yeah. Gosh, the screams! Yuka, are you here? Yoshiki, do you see anything behind us? Yoshiki! Yoshiki! Yoshiki. Hey, Yoshiki. Satoshi, what's wrong? Yoshiki's not here. What? Yoshiki! Yoshiki, where are you? Say something! Kishinuma, say something, please! Kishinuma! Where could he have gone? If we were to get separated here... What do we do, Satoshi? We should head back, for now. Where's Miss Kuon? Yoshiki! Yoshiki, damn it, where did he go? Naomi, I think you, you're missing someone next to you. Kishinuma, if you're screwing around, I'm going to be really mad. Hurry up and get out here. We listened for a response, but heard absolutely nothing. Save for a heavy, pulsating sound that echoed through our heads like ringing after a loud concert. He was literally just in their party like a second ago. And so on Miss, was Miss Kuon, but she's not here anymore either. Are you alright, Naomi? Yeah, but can I hold on to your shirt? You bet, and don't let go. You should do the same, Miss Kuon. Miss Kuon? Naomi, hold on to Satoshi's shirt. No! Miss Kuon! Miss Kuon! What's wrong, Naomi? Miss Kuon's gone now, too. She was here just a second ago. What? And then suddenly... Satoshi, that voice? Yoshiki! Yoshiki, where are you? Yoshiki, where are you, Yoshiki? Satoshi! Hold on to him, Naomi. Over there? I can't tell, there's too much echo. I heard it from over there. Come on. Okay. Don't let go of my hand, Naomi. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Yosuke! Kishinuma's screams of pain sporadically punctuated the silence. <gasps> that gate just opened on its own, huh? An uneasy feeling ran through me, manifesting itself as a shudder. Satoshi and I cautiously entered the cell, though we both remained close to the threshold. 
From there, he shone his light inside. It was a tiny cell with red runic letters written all over the wall, and standing all the way in the back was Miss Kuan. With wide, frightful eyes, she was staring directly at us. Sissy! Oh, wait, sorry, I'm, I interrupt. Miss Kuan! Ah! Such as she lost his footing, nearly toppling over. The floor was extremely slippery. <laughs> It took me a second too, but I soon realized what he was reacting to. Miss Kuan wasn't watching us. She wasn't seeing anything anymore. Her body wasn't standing under its own weight, but rather impaled in place with four wooden spears. She was gone. Oh, this is obviously the wrong end. <laughs> the substance such as she had slipped on was the blood pooling on the ground from her now lifeless body. <laughs> What? What the hell? <laughs> I turned around to see Yoshiki, dead as well, his throat sliced and his tongue ripped out. <laughs> Satoshi, we need to get out of here. We need to get out. Satoshi? I looked down. I was still holding Satoshi's hand, but that's all that remained of him. The rest of his body was gone. I dropped Satoshi's hand and ran out of the cell in a panic. Without his flashlight, the only thing I could see was a distant light. No, no, I can't take any more of this. My voice was trembling, my feet unstable, my mind a blank. All I could do was run. That was the only thing left for me. The source of the light was a solitary bulb in another small cell. Light! Oh! Oh, no, me. Immediately upon entering, however, I found myself caught in a bear trap. It closed on my ankle, which triggered a cord that pulled me into the air, hanging me upside down from my now critically injured leg. Yeah! It hurts. The feeling was excruciating as my entire body weight was pulling the steel blades deeper and deeper into my ankle. Yeah! It hurts. It hurts. I kept moaning and screaming as I swung there, hoping to capture someone's attention, but no one came and there seemed to be no easy way to free myself. Satoshi! It hurts so much. Satoshi. I needed to conserve my energy to save my screams for when I knew they'd be heard. Or at least, that's what the little part of my mind that was still functioning kept telling me, through all the internal anguish and searing trauma. <laughs> But no one was coming, that much was certain. I had to do something to escape from this agony. <laughs> Though it went against every instinct in my body, I bit my lip and forcefully contorted myself in a last-ditch attempt to reach my ankle. Unfortunately, my hand just wouldn't reach. And on top of that, I could hear, and very much feel, cracking as my ankle bent under the force of the steel jaws. <laughs> I lost the willpower to maintain such a painful posture. My body fell back into an upside-down vertical position, and the force of the sudden fall caused me to start swinging more. <laughs> the steel blades were merciless. Tears were flowing from my eyes, drool from my mouth and blood from my ankle. My head was going blank under the intense pain. And the worst part was, there was absolutely nothing I could do. I was completely and utterly helpless. <laughs> Help, please, somebody help me. Hey, some random dudes. As I screamed, I saw people who looked like medieval villagers surround me. <gasps> they were looking straight ahead, as though they were intentionally averting their eyes to my suffering. The expressions on their faces were somehow very off. <laughs> 
What I was seeing was like an otherworldly vision. It was neither Heavenly Host nor the world I knew. I had absolutely no idea where I was anymore, nor what was happening to me. Oh, he's got a cr- oh! And the next moment, a violent crashing sound echoed through my brain, and my field of vision began to shake and turn upside down as I lapsed into unconsciousness. I couldn't make out exactly what it was, but something like a crowbar came at me with a tremendous force. Every bone in my body vibrated, and I could feel some of them grinding together under the sudden impact. It was not pleasant. The vibration only lasted a moment, however. The ground was now approaching, and fast. With a thud, my vision span. Span? Spun! <laughs> I could see the feet of the villagers surrounding me on all sides, along with my own lifeless, limp arm draped across the ground. This was immediately followed by blood pouring down before my eyes like a waterfall, and then nothing. Wrong end! Alright, so tip number one, don't walk into a wall of deadly ghostly spirits when you're in a torture chamber. I have I have been educated today. Alright, so we're just going through here then. Uh, gates are fixed. You can't go through that one. That gates are fixed. Can I get this this person's name tag though? No, I can't. Okay. That gates are fixed. That gates are fixed. That gates are fixed. Oh, it teleported me to... Can I run past it? I can. Hmm. Will the characters say something about it? <laughs> you know, maybe maybe give me a bit of help. I just like Okay. Or is there something to do with the stuff that I have now? Inventory. We have a light crystal. And a dark crystal opens the- Oh, we have to go back! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's wait for his, his energy to pick back up. And go! <laughs> Ow, it's okay! Duh, it could be worse. Our heads could be gone. Go! Oh. Did I not pick that up? Batteries! Hooray! Do we have bandages? We do. We don't need them now, but maybe in the future we will. Let's save again. Okay, we use the den key. I love how he just likes to slide with the... Oh, and then we put, you know, the thing on the thing. There's a slot in the pedestal. Um, do the light crystal. Doesn't say whether one needs to be dark and one needs to be light. Yeah, so what happens now? Do I leave and come back? Does the magic need some time to work? Oh no, do you know what it is? We could probably get around those... Those, um... Is there something in there? Oh no, it's just the reflection of the blade. It looks so pretty and shiny like an object! And I want to touch it! <laughs> Oh, the 
the thing's gone here. What about that? Oh, I get it. So the, the, the white mist was obviously like the, the holy mist. And it's gone because we put the crystal in. And now the dark mist is gone because we put that crystal in. I am a genius. <laughs> it's probably like the easiest puzzle ever. Can we open these doors now? No, okay. But like still, you know, obviously I'm just the smartest. All right, so now we can get past this area without everyone dying. Is lovely. It's Sachi. Whoa. What's wrong? There was totally something right behind me just now. What? Satoshi flashed his light in the direction Kishinuma had indicated, but there was simply nothing there. Seriously? That door just opened, huh? Hey, you said that in a past life where you died! Each one of us was racked with apprehension. We slowly approached the room. Naomi, Naomi have you seen any other visions of Sachi since earlier? Mm-mm, not a one. Okay, remember, anything can happen in here, so stay right behind me. I will, but please be careful, Satoshi. Don't worry. I was wondering when you were going to start talking. What's it in here, I wonder? Yoshiki, you and the others keep an eye on things outside. Oi, oi. Omae hitori de iku kikai wo. Whoa, whoa. Are you seriously planning to go in alone? Minna de itte kiken na me ni au yori wa mashi daro. It's better than all of us putting ourselves in harm's way. Sore ma so da kedo. Nara ore ga. Well, yeah, I guess that is true. But I mean, I'll Ore ga saki ni itte yousou mite kuru. No, you won't. I'll see what's going on in there and come right back out. Oh. Fine. Satoshi, you make sure you get out of there right at the first sign of trouble, okay? Hi. I will. Okay, I'm going in. God, the smell is just as awful in here. And those chains make it look like a solitary confinement room or something. Yuka! <gasps> Whoa! Satoshi! Yuka! Hey, I said that! <laughs> Yuka! Orida! Yuka, it's me. Hang in there. Hey! What's going on? Satoshi, is Yuka in there? What's wrong? Did something scary happen to you? Say something, Yuka. It was almost as if she'd forgotten how to speak. Something was clearly very wrong. What if it's Sachi? Yuka. Yuka! Yuka! Let's just get her out of here for now, Satoshi. Yuka. Yeah, come on, Yuka. Get on my back. Wait! I've seen this! So, when I first started playing this, I think I mentioned to you guys that I haven't played this game at any point, unlike the other two games, which I did play somewhat, but never really finished. And I, I had seen some images, so I, I sort of knew how things went down. Something's about to, something is about to go down. Mark my words. Satoshi crouched down so Yuka could ride him piggyback, but she simply wouldn't budge. 
Satoshi, Shagandro. Satoshi, stay down. Seweruka. You think you can carry her? <laughs> yeah. Yuka, Shikari Shiro. Yuka, hang in there. Something's about to go down. This is not Yuka. I don't trust you. Give me that save. <laughs> Ew, get off of me. This is not Yuka, please. I don't want you on my back. I don't trust you. This is really strange. The entrance was this way, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nothing but a wall here now, though. Look. There. No way! This wall's moving! I love the unnecessary pause of this sentence. This is bad. At the rate it's going, we'll be caught easily. Everybody run! Whoa! The hell? Come on, let's go. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, what? What? No! <laughs> what is that? That didn't even give me a chance to, like, register what was going on in my surroundings. Yes, I would like to save the system data. Continue. Alright, here we go. Take two, I guess. Alright, we'll skip the dialogue. Yep, the wall's moving. Let's... Let's go! Giddy on up! No! <laughs> if we get wedged in, does that mean we're trapped here? I think it's more likely we'll be squished. We need to find an exit. On the double. Am I running again? I see a light over that way. Come on. Right behind you. Just tell me if I have to run. Oh, you didn't tell me. That's not very nice. Satoshi, the hallway's closing in too quickly. Let's take cover in here. Are we trapped? Yes, but we were on the verge of getting crushed, so this seems a better alternative. There's no way that the wall's going to keep closing in, right? A tremendous wave of anxiety washed over all four of us. As we were trying to figure out what to do next, I found myself tripping over a sharp stone by my foot. It was in the shape of an arrowhead. I wonder what this is. Satoshi! Hey, Satoshi, shine your light over here again. Back a little. There! Looks like it goes somewhere. Yeah, and it might be our only ticket out of this room. But how do we get up that high? Even if we stood on our tippy toes, we couldn't possibly reach it. <laughs> it's Sachi! <laughs> Satoshi was scared stiff by the sudden voice right by his ear. <laughs> Who's there? He flashed his light, but there was no one to be seen. 
What the? Ow, my eye, it hurts. Nakashima! Nomi! Nomi, are you okay? I'm seeing something. What is this? You are? What do you see? Someone's back. You're back. See? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You're evil! It's not Yuka! It's fake Yuka! It's Sachi! <laughs> Yuka's eyes went completely black as she latched all her weight onto Satoshi. Her face was no longer her own, but that of Sachi. Satoshi! yuka -tanga! Satoshi, Yuka's... <laughs> what? Satoshi! Satoshi! Get her off him! Someone, get him off him! She's heavier. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> the double of them! Uh, she's speaking! Sachi Shinazaki, I was Sachiko's older twin sister. The black-eyed Yuka began to speak while clinging uncomfortably onto Satoshi's back. A vanishing twin. I've heard of cases where two twins are conceived, but one dies in the womb and the other absorbs it. I was eaten by Sachiko on Mummy's tummy and erased from existence. Only my teeth remained. They were by my sister's heart, but then the doctors went in and took them out. Isn't that awful? It seems so unfair for her to be born safely. I want to go out into the world too. But I couldn't go out on my own, so I looked for a human I could wear, only they all died too fast, so I was stuck. Not this girl, though. She's perfect. She doesn't break, even with me inside. Did you just... Did you just pee on Satoshi's back? Sorry, I know this is a very serious moment, but... <laughs> it feels so good. Humans are so nice. I'm going to experience a lot of first times with this body. While the possessed Yuka was speaking all of this from his back, Satoshi carefully and discreetly poked Miss Kuon in the side to get her attention. Satoshi? Satoshi? Yeah, Miss Kuon. Those are. In Satoshi's outstretched hand were two baby teeth. 
They were the teeth he'd taken from the class rep earlier. Take them, please. He didn't speak these words with his mouth, but rather with his eyes. Unfortunately for him, Sachi seemed to have caught on. Is that it? Oh, sorry. I skipped, and you're talking very quietly, Sachi Yuka. And my first, first time will be a sibling murder. With that, she began strangling Satoshi. <laughs> All the... <laughs> I just, I can't deal with the little happy faces that everyone is wearing in the background. Hey, Yuka, stop! No, this... Let go of him, Yuka. Shit, I can't loosen her grip. How the hell strong is she? Please stop this, Sachi. And just like that, she stopped. Or rather, the spiritual aspect of her vanished from our sight. She disappeared. But why? <laughs> Die. Die. <laughs> no, Yuka, snap out of it. So, don't. Die. 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 Don't die. Die. <laughs> no, stop. My hands. You can't. Yuka, damn it, you can do it, Yuka. Release your hands. There's a lot of screaming happening. Yuka It's like cackling and sobbing at the same time. Oh, she's back. <laughs> If this keeps up, Satoshi won't make it. Uh, did this, this sh shop rock? Take this. <laughs> I clutched my left eye and collapsed to the ground. This was accompanied by a sudden bloody splash from Suchi's left eye as well, accented by her all-black eyeball falling from its socket to the ground. <laughs> Satoshi's throat rang and rattled as he quickly inhaled as much air as his lungs could take. <coughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
My body twitched and I continued holding my eye with one hand. The other hand then bore the arrowhead I'd used, now coated in blood and viscera. <laughs> Did you do this? What were you thinking? <laughs> Satoshi. How Satoshi? Satoshi <sighs> Don't worry, Satoshi and Yuka are both fine. Thank God. Nanda. Huh? Yuka. Yuka? That's a long ah. She held her own neck in her hands as her body writhed and convulsed. Her eyes had rolled back into her head, giving her an almost supernatural or possibly subhuman appearance. Yuka! Dame! Kishinemaku! Yuka chan no karada o osaete! Stop! Kishinuma, get her arms! Wakata! Got it! Kishinuma immediately planted her arms, doing his best to keep her still. Miss Kuan then stuffed a hand towel in her mouth. Oh, she does not look happy. I, uh, Naomi, you need to stab yourself again. <laughs> Suddenly, Sachi appeared next to Miss Kuan and grabbed the Ever After Stones before anyone knew what was happening. No, let go. I won't let you have them. Yuka, calm down. Calm down. Yuka closed her eyes and fell dead silent. Sachi was gone as well, and his stillness descended upon the entire room. <laughs> Damn, the hell's her deal? <coughs> Nami. Nami. <laughs> Nami. Naomi, your eye. It's okay. That's what it takes to save you. It's a small price to pay. Besides, the eye was starting to give me the creeps anyway. Naomi, I'm sorry. May I take a look? Miss Kumon opened my eyelid and stared intently at my injured eye. This was not a comfortable thing for her to do. <laughs> You're lucky. Your cornea isn't damaged. That's a relief. The white area has been cut, but your vision should be fine once it heals. You want to apply pressure for now, though. Oh! Miro, the exit is coming down. Hey, look, the exit came down. <laughs> How nice of the wall to move to help us. Nami. Uh, I I kind of love the fact that they're so in love with each other, but won't tell each other. But when they're injured, like the first thing, you know, like even though they're injured, they'll check on each other. Like she just stabbed herself in the eye, but she was still just like, is Satoshi okay? How about Yuka? You know, like she's checking on them. He's finished coughing, finished checking in with Yuka. No, me, are you okay? You know, oh. Yuka, <laughs> Satoshi. Damn it, you're always taking things just that little bit too far. Here, I'll carry Yuka. Satoshi, you lend Nakashima a hand. Oh, my boy Kishinuma putting them together! Naomi, Alright, Naomi, I know it hurts, but do you think you can go on? 
Yeah, I'm fine. Why must innocent children like this be forced to suffer so much? Miss Cohen surveyed the room with a general look of deep concern on her face. Oh, what's happening now? Sachi! <laughs> Shit, it's her! <laughs> we all fixed our gazes on Sachi, who stood before us, cradling her eye. <laughs> Damn it, what are we supposed to do now? Sachi, take a look at this. What is that? It's one of Sachi's baby teeth. Shinozaki brought them here. Whoa, okay. Miss Kuan crushed the tooth between her fingers until it was a little more than a fine powder. Savage! <laughs> He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Miss Kuan is really something else. She then opened her mouth and ate it. <laughs> what? She was just like, let me turn this into coffee grounds. I'll have this with milk and hot water and some sugar, please. Sensei! Oh. Miss Kuan! Sachi, you are not born. You are not born in this world. It's funny, but it's the fate of your father. Go back to your mother's body. Sachi, you'll never be born. This world is beyond your reach. It is an unfortunate fate, but it's your fate nonetheless. Return now to your mother's womb. Oh, I think she's dead. I think too late for that. I don't think she's happy either. You can come back after you've been reborn. Sachi disappeared and a stillness descended upon the room once more. Sensei. Miss Kuan, is that all you had to do? Could we have done that with Sachiko as well? Just found her bones, you know, put them into a pot of coffee, drank it, and was just like, it's okay, because you'll be reborn. And then she just disappears. And then the second game, this game never happened. Second game never happened. Most of the first game wouldn't have happened. We just needed to find her bones. What did you just do? She just ate Sachi. Sachi. I trapped Sachi within my body. She seemed to have mistaken me for her mother, so luring her in was easy. Like I said, she literally just ate Sachi! <laughs> now though, we really need to be going. We have to return to Shinazaki, and I... Miss Kuan looked down at her wristwatch, as if for emphasis. The seconds on it were still steadily counting down, having just dipped below 3,600. Is that it? No! <laughs> okay, so chapter 10 is obviously like the final, final bit. I can't believe she just ate. <laughs> I'm still reeling over that! She did it so nonchalantly as well! EVP. This is the... Hang on. Uh, Naho... You can listen to... Oh, Sachi has so many of them! I just want to listen to the last one. So, um, <laughs> so probably most of her thing is just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Sachi! Um, no, it doesn't explain that she was then eaten by. No. 
Okay. What are the... Are they just things that they say? Yeah, it's just... Things that they say. Oh, it's Seiko's lines. Go away. Yeah, that's just lines that they've said. So, yeah, Sachi's is just going to be her screaming or growling or anywhere in between the two of them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I think the next time we play, maybe one episode, maybe two, but we'll be finished with the main game. I'm going to do the extra chapters because they're on... I think some of them are on the characters just to expand a little bit on their lives um because from the steam achievements that i've seen they kind of have like certain characters um profiles attached to like the the achievement like extra chapter five and you get more story about i don't know muggity or something like that i don't know i'm not sure about that i'm not 100 percent, but we'll find out together um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment that you did and like and subscribe and ring the bell and do all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.